Well, will prosecutors shift their strategy as the trial begins for Lieutenant Brian Rice? They begin laying out their case tomorrow morning. Now, he, Rice, is the highest ranking officer charged in the arrest and death of Freddie Gray. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at City Hall with a look at what we can expect as the latest trial kicks off tomorrow. Mike? Denise, Lieutenant Rice's training is expected to be a big part of the prosecution's case. And there's a new development in a controversy that erupted in court yesterday. Prosecutors failing to turn over training documents to defense attorneys until the last minute. They'd blame the police department, saying they'd requested those documents for months. The police department now says that's simply not true. We just basically happened upon the fire. Almost 18 years ago, shortly after Brian Rice joined the police force, he was hailed as a hero for rescuing a child from a burning building. It's hard to, hard to imagine what would have happened, but it's, it's good we got through what we did. Now, the lieutenant faces felony charges as the latest officer on trial in connection with Freddie Gray's arrest and death. This is where it all started at North and Mount, where Lieutenant Rice on bike patrol first made eye contact with Freddie Gray and Gray ran. Rice also helped load him into the police van. You on a, bike. a key part of the state's argument, Rice should have secured Gray with a seat belt. A critical question for the judge, were Rice's actions reasonable? Prosecutors will stress his role as the highest ranking officer and focus on his training. But the judge ruled they can't use 4,000 pages of documents detailing that training because they waited too long to turn them over to the defense. Prosecutors say they asked police for them months ago, but in a new statement to WJZ, police deny that, saying the department only received the request on June 18th and paid staffers overtime to quickly find and copy all those records. It's certainly a setback that the state didn't get the chance to probe and mine through those documents to find out whether there was any smoking gun in there that said that this officer specifically knew that he had an obligation to seatbelt Freddie Gray. Even stressing Rice's supervisory role, prosecutors face the same judge who's rejected their arguments in the past. I don't think there's any chance that their case is going to get better. I think it's going to be more difficult for them to prosecute the remaining officers. Prosecutors can't comment because of the judge's gag order. Court resumes at 9.30 tomorrow morning. Denise? All right, thank you, Mike, and we invite you to check in with WJZ. We'll have complete coverage of the trial of Lieutenant Brian Rice. We will be in court tomorrow morning as it gets underway.